Hello everyone, my name is Fox. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your SSD drive, either NVMe or SATA. In this particular uh, video, we're going to be using a SATA drive just because a few people were asking me if a SATA drive would work. I went ahead and got the WD Blue 2 terabyte version. We're going to take a look at power consumption afterwards. A few things of note before you even start beginning. Number one, make sure that you have uh, a, you know, well, in this particular case, I am using Windows. Uh, if you're going to use any other type of operating system, make sure you have something already loaded, obviously, because if this is the only machine that you have that you can work on, you're going to want to have something uh, in a bootable fashion so that you can start to get to work. Additionally, I've also already gone ahead and used double driver and made backups of my drivers and start on here. The only reason I need that is because I have a prototype and finding drivers are less uh, available, so I can only use what I have on this device itself. Obviously, you'll be able to find drivers from GPD whenever, so really you just need to make sure that you have, in this instance, I have Windows 10 bootable on here. Now, we're going to go ahead and start on screwing it. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven. There's eleven screws, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, there's eleven screws in total. They are of two lengths. Oh, well, these are two lengths and these are their own, these shiny, these shiny ones. These ones are their own, so we'll go ahead and start unscrewing that. I'll skip ahead of that. Okay, so in my particular prototype, when you remove the bottom chassis, uh, they have ad adhesed the battery to the bottom shell, which I'm reasonably certain should be on the inside shell so that it should be possible to take this back case off without any real particular problem. In my particular case, I have to undo the cable first which is right over here. It's going to be on the left side near the switch, the game switch and mouse switch. So right in there, you can see the battery connector. So I got to go ahead and get in there and undo it. It's going to be a pain to get that back in. So let me go ahead and do that and get back. Alrighty, so again, I'm pretty reasonably sure that this battery should be in this particular cavity right here. Uh, and then you would, you know, you'd see that this particular whole back shell could just come right off. Um, because right now getting to the battery, replacing that battery part, like the little switch would just be right in here. Right now it's kind of a pain in the, the current arrangement as it is, but no big deal. Anyway, here is the business end of what we want to take out. So what we're looking to do is to remove this without actually taking out the CPU portion of it. Uh, we can take a look at some of the internals here, which is pretty nice. Here's the RJ45 port. Here's the micro SD. Here are the big old switches. Man, look at how much meat is on. So these are the clickable sticks right, right there. These are where the cl clickable sticks are now. Look at those guys. AV1, RJ, V20 much these are really new jeez louise and then here is the big old bad heatsink with the dual fans and so nice all right so we're going to go ahead and remove this one screw now gpd says that you can remove this i don't see how you'd be able to get to it without being able to remove the fans but let's see let's see if you can now, uh, one thing that was super important to make note of is that you have to use an SSD that have uh, chips on one side. So it has to be uh, blank on the other end. It's kind of very important. Get this little um, 2280 screw out of the way. Now, can I get to this? You know, it doesn't really seem like it. Like this is really kind of holding it down. Let me go and try to see how I would remove these fans and see. All right, so that is removed. So basically how I did it was kind of just, you would kind of just slide it on in like this and then remove it the same way. You just kind of have to go right underneath. So there's this part on the fan housing, well housing, it's it's a, a mounting point for the fan that is external to the fan itself. So there's this mounting point. You kind of have to slide it underneath here. These are the memory. This is eight gigabytes and eight gigabytes. This is the 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now we're gonna go, uh, go ahead and open up the other SSD and we're gonna put that in. I forgot to show this off. Again, you want a blank sided uh, box.
bottom side to the uh, 2280 SSD, either NVMe or SATA. We're testing SATA right now, but technically it works. So as long as it's bare bottom, so this is the WD, Western Digital. Take a look at that. This is the Western Digital version, and if we flip it to the other side, nothing. So it's good to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install this now. So if you'll follow me, you're going to install as you would. Kind of get under there. I have 15% battery remaining on my phone. I want to just get right under there. So as soon as you get that in there, you're just going to kind of slot it on in. There we go. And it's in. Got that there. Go ahead and put back in my... What in the world did I do with my screwdriver? Oh, there it is. Put that back in. Let me, let me do this a smart way. No! Almost lost my screw. All right, let me get ahead of that. All right, so I got those screwed in. Technically, I think you only really need to remove this one fan. It gets a little bit easier because if you can just flop it, flop it up, you can better grab the stick underneath. Uh, now it becomes the difficult job that I have about reconnecting this battery back into this terminal right here. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll worry about screwing everything back in. Let me see if I can get ahead of that. Alrighty, and then connecting the battery was quite difficult because mine was glued on the other side. Uh, I anticipate people that are looking at this video, you won't have to worry about the battery as much as I would because the battery should already technically be connected. Um, having said that, we can see right here uh, M2 SSD SATA and then the Western Digital 2 terabyte and all 2 terabytes there. So now at this point I'm going to screw it all back together. Um, then I'm going to use my USB stick, but basically that's what you're going to need to do to replace your SSD. Um, I've done videos in the past about how to install Windows 10, so you can go ahead and look up those videos. If you need to look up any other videos um, as well, it would apply just the same. Uh, but that's it. That's how you would replace your SSD drive. Thank you guys so much for your time, and thanks for watching.